Welcome back, Vagabonds, to episode two of our spring renovations. We're excited. Hope you too. Okay, so we're tying up some loose ends today on um, the old bus. So I never, we never really got into it during the first build, but we've been using these little latches to uh, keep our drawers in when we drive, um, which is okay, but problem is with these little latches here on such a heavy pantry drawer we have here is they ripped right out of it. It's just a little dinky thing, so I got some bigger hooks. I'm going to be customizing this latch with some heavy-duty hooks. And, uh, yeah, hopefully that keeps it in. Where does she go, my love? With you. The words that she wrote, my love. New. So while your head is in the sky and your heart is floating high, she'll paint it blue. Why does she give my love that I don't give? We kiss. So while your head is floating high and your heart is in the sky, it's you all miss. First jaw installed. Look at this. I feel tight, yeah? It feels very tight. Like it feels cool. perfect. It's like a bit weird because you gotta get used to the motion of like holding mm -hmm. it up while you like but it feels super tight, like. Nice. Nice. Yeah, we put two screws because we were worried if we just put one, it might just twist. So it looks so cute too. It's really cute. So all right. So we got all eight of our jars on here. They're very sturdy. Like I said, um, two screws just to be safe or glue. But yeah, they feel super sturdy. Um, it was really easy to put them on and it's gonna open up a lot more room in our cabinet here So now we just gotta fill them with some spices In the sky and your heart is floating high It's you I'll miss Yes, um, where, well, Riley mainly has been drilling all the holes to finally complete our bookshelf because we put this bookshelf up here, well, kind of like bookshelf storage area. And then we didn't end up finishing it up, which means like we can put books and stuff here when we're um, staying somewhere, like at a campsite, not moving the bus. As soon as we move, we have to remove everything down onto the bed and since we're coming to spring and summer season where we're going to actually be moving the bus quite a bit we want something just more secure that we can just leave all our books and everything up here and don't have to always move it around so it's more practical so what we have here is a very long i don't know how long it is bungee cord and we drilled holes on the bottom then have hooks on the top and basically i'm just gonna like thread it through this whole system we have here now and yeah so that's basically it. And at the end right now, I'm just putting a knot. Paint. 
painted the walls. Way too late in the day. Picked the colors very spontaneously. No clue what we were doing or how it would turn out. But yeah, that's how we ended up in this mess. What you doing? Painting. We're painting. Finally, uh, closet doors, which we should have done before, obviously, but you know, do it when you have time and money for it. That's right. But we're just, how you say, priming it right now. Mm -hmm. Actually, this is not, like, we're not just painting everything white, we bought some nice colors. Finally, give our bus a little theme. This color is absolutely beautiful. I don't think it translates as good because this is... How would I ever describe this color? So what we did is we wanted a very light but not baby blue, which we went for over there. We like it off-white, which is on the blue side, if that makes any sense. We didn't want to look at too like children's room like, which I think we succeeded quite well with that one. It was some kind of like ocean tone. I really, really like it. From some angles, it looks a bit like white, but it's definitely an off-white white. And then this one, we just wanted basically to match that one, another blue-ish color that is, yeah, again, not like children's room blue. And what this one is, it's a bit more of a mixture with some gray in it. It's like a gray, blue, a little green-ish. Um, yeah, so that's this one, and yep. Well, I'm doing this. Rightly done. It's a mess, as always, all construction. Yeah, and this is how it turned out. Um, honestly, we love it, but it did take us a few days to just get used to this color in the bus. Um, yeah, it's quite different now. Also, we found these absolute adorable handles the other day, and my absolute new favorite thing in the bus, the fruit hammock. Thank you all so much for watching and see you soon in the next video.